A Toronto mother says she was fooled by a rehab center in Quebec. When Yvonne Keller paid the center $10,000, she didn't know who was running the facility. Only a week later, her son was sent home on a bus, penniless and still addicted. Go Publix, Kathy Tomlinson joins me now with more from Vancouver. And so, Kathy, tell us about what happened to Yvonne and her son. Well, Yvonne Keller says this, none of this would have happened if she'd been able to find help for her drug-addicted son who was in terrible shape in the public system in Ontario. She wasn't able to, so through an internet helpline, she got on to Narconon, which is in Trois-Rivières in Quebec, and it's a private rehab facility. She put $10,000 on her credit card in order to get her 22-year-old son, Daniel, into that facility. As you said, a week later, they kicked him out put him on a bus back to Toronto by himself. She says he didn't get any help there at all, and he wasn't supervised the way that she thought he would be. She then found out that Narconon in Trois-Rivières is run by Scientologists. We have since talked to a former employee there, David Love, who says the facility is just a front to try to recruit vulnerable people, drug addicts, into Scientology. And he says many people get kicked out, and those are the ones whose staff can't indoctrinate. Here's how Yvonne Keller feels about the whole experience. Because I should have done better research. But um, it's a very hard place to be at. I really believe that they were going to be able to help me and help him. And so, Kathy, how is Narconon reacting to CBC's investigation? Well, the director of legal affairs there says he is a Scientologist and they do use the teachings of Scientology to uh, treat addicts there. But he says that's because Scientology is very effective. He says he's seen 1,200 people leave there drug-free after going through the program. So obviously he's uh, uh, very supportive of this in general. In terms of Yvonne Keller's case, he says that now that she's come out with this and talked to us, she will be getting some of her money back, although she wasn't able to before now. All right. Kathy, thank you.